first of all, oh, you get to be in the camera too. Yay, <laughs> Cheryl and her mom. That's so awesome. So why don't you um, introduce yourself since you've probably never been introduced here. I'm Cheryl's mom, Peg. Peg, and Peg you is... You can call me mom, you can call me Peg. Awesome, Peg. So Peg, you have an awesome daughter. You guys have created a great business. And so Cheryl is going to introduce our clay. What, what is it called? A potter? Potter. We, oh, this is wheel throwing clay. And this is Jerry. He is uh, one of our expert potters here. And he is going to demonstrate what it's like to get started with clay on the wheel and working with it and how you posture it and, and work with your hands. This is something that you can learn at a class that we offer. We offer seven classes a week for kids and adults, anywhere from beginner to intermediate. And you can also come in and work on the wheels and practice when we're not having a class. So look at the, the you have to have such a feel of the way the clay is moving and then the prep that goes into it. And you can see as he's working that clay, is that what the term would be? Would be manipulating the clay or? Working the clay? Um, yeah, um, right at this, the very first step that I'm doing right now is called centering. Um, we're basically just trying to get a perfect little mount in the very center of our wheel here. Um, the point of this, if you don't have a center piece of clay, um, you'll end up with a piece that has a really thick side on one end and a really thin side on the other. So having it be even is very important to start out from a strong foundation. Yeah. Kind of like business. That's right. Starting out with a strong foundation and being able to connect to the community. So Bursa Butterflies right here in downtown Chandler, in the heart of downtown Chandler, providing all types of services for your parties, birthday parties, adult parties, kids parties, for just a walk-in and you want to create glass, or you want to create pottery. Right now, we're just learning from a wonderful Jerry on how to just really set up the foundation for pottery. So Jerry, how long have you been doing this? I've been working with ceramics for about seven or eight years. Um, I did it all the way through high school. I took a few classes at MCC, um, but uh, mainly I'm just uh, <laughs> experience is what, what I have the most. I don't really have any degrees or anything yet. Mm -hmm. It's what I'm working towards, but. The experience is huge though. So if somebody comes in here right now, Cheryl, would they be able to do something? Like, it looks kind of difficult. Like, would they be able to create something? Well, Jerry's working with, uh, what is it, five pounds? Yes. Five or six pounds. And uh, um, if you've never worked on the wheel before, we're gonna start you off with a smaller amount of clay. You're gonna be able to come in and work with that so that it's not too big for your hands, so that you can really focus on the techniques, the centering, the posturing. And, you know, for, for small kids, we start at age six. And, uh, and up for our kids wheel class. And so, you know, sometimes we'll start the smaller kids with one pound of clay so that they don't have to worry about so much with their little hands. That's and awesome. then, um, you know, everybody who comes in creates something. It's very rare that you that you wouldn't create something that you, that you would want to come back and paint. Uh, you know, mostly bowls. Bowls are probably the easiest thing to create. And here's and some then, examples of some bowls exactly, right here. Those are, those are some bowls created by some of our guests. And um, on this shelf over here as well. And then on that shelf, we have some more advanced pieces that uh, are, can be learned in our intermediate class. So different class. levels That's of classes right. that you have for this. So you have a beginning and intermediate class for? That's right, and the kids class. Okay. The kids wheel class is every Friday at 4 p.m., ages 6 to 12. Our beginner classes are Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. And then we have intermediate classes on uh, Wednesday and Friday. Oh, that's great. So people don't necessarily have to be in a, where they walk in, they actually go to class where other people are learning too, so it can be an interactive thing too. It, it can, and, and we keep our classes small. We have yeah. uh, we only allow four at a time right now. Uh, we'll, we'll grow that a little bit, but we'll never be more than eight people in a class because great. of the fact that we want to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. Now it's back to Jerry. Look how quick, now this makes me hungry. This looks like those little donut, those little uh, pound cakes that you get at Safeway. <laughs> the little, and they're the lemon pound cakes. Those are so darn good. I love those things. So Jerry, that quick, you've created something like that. But I, if you would have seen him, he's really focusing on being able to keep it straight and organized. But it's really kind of like a, you find it's kind of like a cathartic thing for you, like a focus thing to get it that even, that you like to get it? Yeah, it is. Um, it's really, Kind of soothing and satisfying to have the clay work in your hand. 
like it's once mm -hmm. you get to the point where you know what you're doing, um, it's really nice to have something bent, <coughs> bent to your will. <laughs> nice. <laughs> sense. Um, so yeah, I've moved on to the second step here. This is what I've done, it's called opening. Uh, basically, it's just started my cavity for, um, I'll be throwing a vase. So now I'm just gonna widen this out. So your thumb in there is what helps widen it out. Yes. Because it keeps going in circles, so it's going to keep that evenness. That's so interesting. So what is this going to be, Jerry? What are you going to make? I'm going to make a vase. A vase. So how do you know how tall your vase is going to be? Uh, approximately a foot, maybe a little bit taller than that. So if you were telling somebody to come in here and do something, and they're a beginner, they're like, I'm scared, Jerry, I don't know what to do, what would you suggest their first piece be? A bowl. A bowl? Yeah. Makes it simple? Yeah. That's um, generally the first thing anybody makes when they start uh, with wheel throwing. Um, they're just, um, they feel it's the most natural thing to make right. on a wheel. Um, a lot of other pieces, when you're making it, you feel like you have to fight certain um, habits. Right. So Cheryl, since you're working on your clay game here and you're trying to do something, so Cheryl might even do some clay with you if you come in. <laughs> she might even do it with you, but either way, coming in here that quick and you look at what is created right there, just the fun that it can be to create stuff like this, don't forget to come visit Cheryl at Burst of Butterflies right here in downtown Chandler. Cheryl, is there anything going on this weekend that you want to talk about? Um, we are uh, always busy on the weekend. Sundays we have five dollars off canvas every week, and Saturdays are a great day to come out with the family or friends. Uh, it's a really fun day to be here. And you know, Sundays we have wheel throwing classes. You can get your hands in the mud, or come in and just walk in and paint pottery or canvas or work with glass. Thanks, Cheryl. Appreciate it, and look forward to these more videos coming out, telling you all the great stuff that you can create here at Burst of Butterflies.